Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Reddit here back with yet another wonderful title update. Tis the season to be titly. Update la la la, nya 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 nya. Anyway, we are back with Gabriel's World, or, or Gabriel's World. I suppose it depends where you're from, however you say it. Anyway, The Adventures. And yes, we are back with a, another, well this one has another two title updates. It has just been updated now to get to 4,000. A seemingly squeezy, lovely gamer score. Um, but in this one, I will be showing you the 3,000 and 4,000 uh, gamer score points. The final, the last two updates, because uh, I didn't do the uh, I didn't do what the one before. Anyway, so it's uh, basically it's another case of having to go through the majority of the game again. If you've already if you've already done the other title updates, you'd probably uh, be aware of that by now. But this is just a case. Basically, in the uh, f last title update, um, we basically have to collect. So we've got to make sure of as we start a new game here, we need to collect all the cereal boxes again. As soon as we do start, though, do not move at all. You can skip the story, but you're going to see a little counter above our head, our boxy little head. 99 seconds, we literally don't need to do anything until that countdown, uh, that timer runs out. And once it does, the achievement will unlock. Um, but yes, so whether you've done the uh, previous title update or not, we do have to um, basically, I mean, if you've already collected, if you've already done the game, if you've already collected all of the rare and the normal cereal boxes, then you can just go into the collectibles menu Press the A button on all of them, and the big achievement will unlock. But, if not, and you are going through it again, or for whatever reason, then this is going to help you out, because we'll need to go through the majority of the game. So just wait again, wait around a minute and a half until the countdown timer runs out. And once it does, then we will get the achievement called Pagan Man asked him, right? And we'll say, hey, Pagan, he's screaming. Uh, but yes, that you will get that. So with for now, we can just drop down. We can just head to the left. Make sure to head to the left first, but do a nice little cheeky double jump in. Grab the key of life. And then we can just head to the right and end the level. Now, again, if you have played this game a couple of times, you will know, you will pretty much remember sort of what to do on the majority of levels here as we jump across the platform. Um, you can go up, if this is the first time you're playing the third title update, this is where you will get the first achievement here for finding um, a party for Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Because um, it's his birthday on April 21st, which, uh, happy birthday! Well, it's gone. It's gone now, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we can continue heading, drop down to the right here to find the first cereal box. And this is the first normal box. So again, if this is the first time you're playing through the title update 3, uh, you will get an achievement here for it. If not, and you've only just got the one left, you still need to collect that cereal box anyway. It's very important that you do. Uh, so for now, we can just drop down, head to the right, finish the level, and away we go once again. And on to the second one then. So we're just going to jump to the right. We're going to jump on the old Magic Mario Mushroom Head. Jump up again, kill Squishy Marshmallows if you want, avoid them, play however you want to play. Jump to the right, Squishy Marshmallow head again, and then what we need to do is jump up to the right in order to grab the next key of life, the key to my heart. And then we're going to do a little tiny puzzle, very easy, so stand by the statue, press the X button. You just need to drag specific shapes to the shapes. Um, so it's not that one right there, so what you need to do is hold the A button with the left one, drag it to the top right one. Then the triangle, drag it to the right, and then the sort of upside down A, drag that to the bottom left, exit the puzzle, drop down, and drop down again, go to the left, you can see that the rear box is now open, so give it a jump, and, and yeah, 
And that's a vampire zombie thing dripping cereal out of his tongue. That really makes me, uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, that must taste a bit bloody. Yeah, vampires, <laughs> I've got to suck your milk. Yeah, anyway, go to the left, drop down, <laughs> end the level. Because apparently that's how all vampires talk. I want to suck your milk. I'll tell you what, if you were a cow or a woman breastfeeding, you would be like, ah, excuse me, sir, get the hell out of here. Anyway, if you remember what to do on this boss, then he, all we're going to do is jump on the head the majority of the time. The little marshmallow squidgy gumballs will start dropping down. So when they do, try to avoid them because they can hurt you from the top as well. Just try and focus if you can on the worm. And if you can, there's a couple of hearts if needed as well on the two platforms. <laughs> Now into the world where we have deformed looking chickens. Uh, still, they're still going look. So jump on them to uh, go over. Again, jump on the um, deformed chicken KFC looking beautifulness's heads. We're gonna drop down here. You can see where the uh, arrows are pointing. So you need to uh, either go to the right and then jump to the left or we can just drop down, grab the key, make sure to do that. Then we're just gonna head over to the right. There's another cereal box right here. Hey, you marshmallow douchebag. So this is the next cereal box that we're going to grab, the second one. Cereal Big Bows. Look more milky than cereal-y, but you know what? Especially if it's chocolate, mm, Cocoa Pops. Mm. And that's not a product placement, by the way, so I'll say Flow Flo Flops instead. And then all we got to do then, you'll get the achievement again if you are still doing the third title update or not. Whichever one it is, you've got the box. So now just simply keep going all the way to the right. Jumping over the spikes. Watch out for the different coloured platforms, of course. They will drop you down in a heartbeat. Who wants to jump into more deformed chickens' heads? Well, let's do it. Head over the spikes. And this time we can just drop straight down. We don't have to go to the top right. Um, now, if you go to the left, you can grab the key. For some reason, I decide to do it backwards because that's, oh, that's, that's me all over, backwards. If we head to the right, it's just another little puzzle here. So what you need to do is grab the bit of blue paint and go down to the bottom right corner. And the red on the top left. If you do get it wrong, it literally makes no difference. Um, you can't lose any hearts or lose any lives or anything. That will get the next cereal rarity box done. Imagine cereal being that good that it's hidden behind some stuff. You will get the achievement, by the way, um, if you are yet to do the title update. Uh, title update 3. Uh, otherwise, we can just jump back up. Make sure to go and grab the key, like I said, because the first... Now, there would have been an achievement unlocking on my screen, but I went and finished the level without finishing the level because I didn't finish the level because I didn't grab the key because I am a douchebag. So anyway, uh, it's just a little up and down section here. Job done again. <laughs> So it is another boss, but this one is even easier than the first one. So you just got to keep jumping on the alien's head. If you take too long, he starts shooting uh, laser beams or whatever, or shooting shots, shooting a shot from his eyeballs. But if you just keep jumping on his head enough, he moves pretty slow. You should kill him within like six shots or something. Blah! So tidy and easy, mate. <laughs> Now onto the volcano level. Personally, these levels weren't exactly my favorite, but uh, you know, tis what it is and it is life. So we're gonna get a few miscellaneous achievements here. This is where the title update four starts uh, coming into the achievements. Uh, so just take your time here. You can't really rush through these because you'll die a horrible death. <laughs> Jump. There we go. Uh, watch out for the geo dudes. These are more geo craps. And then jump across to the right. Obviously watching out for more stony bros. No oh, stones. Jump up here, grab the key. Now what you need to do, now in previous playthroughs, I pretty much just jumped straight down. Uh, but you're going to grab a cereal box and Mr. Mikey's hat, okay? It's Mr. Macca's hat, but I'm calling him Mr. Mikey. So just keep slowly moving your way down. And it's on one of these platforms to the left is where you're going to see. There it is, the old, that's an orange hat, okay? Drugs are bad, okay? Mr. Maker, Mr. 
Makey, Mr. Mackey. Anyway, drop down, grab the cereal box as well, so that'll be two achievements for you to be grabbing here. And eventually it will unlock, there we go, the beautiful rareness. Be careful here, we need to uh, jump on the deformed chicken, so just take your time with it. There is an old little mole rat, so kick him or don't. Quickly jump over to the left hand side and then jump up to the right. Now I died there the first time I played through the game and that annoyed the everlasting crud out of me. Just be aware by the way, um, if you do die you will have to recollect the things, uh, the cereal boxes, so just be aware of that. Probably should have told you that in the beginning, but you know, you love me enough to, um, you know, be fine with it, right? Red. So, a mouse, say jeez. Watch out for Geo crap. And again, deformed chicken we're going to jump over. There we go. You will need to jump on deformed chickens one and two in order to grab the key. So make sure to grab that, then we can just drop straight down. Now, for whatever reason, this level seemed easier than the last one, but for some reason, I almost died plenty full times. Mouse there, rat thing, so just be careful. Uh, what you'll need to do is drop down here again. Watch out for the uh, rat thing. Moly, moly, moly. Then just jump on the red button here. What I'll do is get a stone from above, interact with the red button above, and then we can grab the next cereal box, which uh, looks the hell. He's pretty marked hell, even. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty rare. Anyway, that's the third rare box done. Uh, it says the third and final rare box, uh, which it is actually. So it is the third and final rare box. Anyway, be careful if you only got one heart like me, and just jump across to the right-hand side. This is boss time now, so it's basically big, massive dude. Now, what I found was easier, so wherever he goes, um, he's going to... So, basically, uh, stay here, and then when he starts going to the right, he's going to... St whichever opposite side he's going, the rocks are going to start falling down as well, so just be aware of that. So, they basically go right and left, right and left, and... Uh, so it's that same pattern every time, so you're having problems, just uh, wait for that pattern, it, and yeah, that's it. Now we're on to the penultimate levels. It's it's the land of chocolate. <gasps> you know, the Simpsons episode, the land of chocolate. Right, you can't hurt the flying chocolate enemies, which is a damn shame. So head to the right, um, interact with the chocolate plugs. The chocolate plugs of life. I won't say the first word, which comes uh, which comes before plugs, um, but it, you know exactly what they look like. So uh, jump up to the right here. You're gonna get it from these gummy worms. Jump over to the right again, and you're gonna get a, another box. This will be number. Ooh, what number is this? Number three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is number three. So jump over to the right, and like I said, exactly it is number four. And then you can just jump, to, <laughs> just jump to the right and finish the level. I told you it was number four, didn't I? Right. and final box but there is actually one more cereal box that we are going to need to grab and that is going to be on the next uh the sort of final levels if you will so what we can do just jump down to the right there's the key and then all you need to do is get
So this is the last boss that we have to face then, and if you remember, it is the it is the cupcake with a couple of sweets around it. Um, now, just try try and keep jumping on its head. It sort of transports from one side of the screen to the other, and it does start sh shooting like gummy worms and stuff at you. So just continue trying to jump on its head as quick as you can. Be careful though, because you can't continue to jump on its head. So you have to do it once and then move out the way as it starts throwing lollies and stuff at you. Remember to grab the hearts if needed. So there we go, let's finish this boys. Right, so continue heading to the right, obviously try not to get hit by the saws, because as we all know, saws hurt, especially in real life. Um, but all we're doing then is gonna, we're gonna grab one more cereal box, finish the level, and then we'll go into the collectible screen. So just jump on the tires here in order to go continue to the right. I'm not sure if you can collect the ce last cereal box and then just go straight up to the main menu, uh, just in case I didn't test it out. So um, it's up to you if you want to test that out for us. But there's the final cereal box then. So just carefully jump to the right. And there we go. The Platinum Edition. Which we've collected a few times during our, <laughs> our play with this game. So continue heading on to the right anyway. Again, ignoring the saws. I say ignoring, trying not to get dead by them. And this is it. So you don't actually have to finish the game. We can go straight to the main menu. Press the start button to start, go down to collectibles, and then all you need to do is press the A button on every single rare edition box. And that is what will unlock the final achievement, Little Destroyer. And you know what? That is actually... Uh, and uh, I think you've got to get rid of all the common editions as well. But you know what? That is actually a real, real nice end in that one. Um, that's, a, that's a real nice one, to be fair. That kid should be proud of Raphael. Um, that is... You know, you always want to make memories with your kids, but this is a pretty damn good memory. So, fair play, Raphael. Big respect to you for that, my friend. But there we go then, guys and gals. That is title update 3 and 4 done. Whether we get uh, one more for a 5,000 Gs, we'll have to wait and see. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game again, and I hope the guide helped you out again. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to my YouTube members. See you in the next one. Big love. Gotta rush. Gotta go.